I'm about to head over to ZWF Miami, and I'm actually going to be feeding two of the owls over there. And once we're done feeding the owls over there, we're going to be coming right back here to my zoo, where we are actually going to be setting up nest boxes for all the owls that I have here at my house. Hank is a gorgeous five-year-old Eurasian eagle owl. Talk to me. Say something. Woo -hoo. Woo. I've got one. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Dude. Okay, look at that. We have three of these incredible Eastern Screech Owl boxes. We're just going to lift this on up just like this. We're going to start in one, two. My finger's getting stuck in there. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well in just a little bit, I'm about to head over to ZWF Miami and I'm actually going to be feeding two of the owls over there. And once we're done feeding the owls over there, we're going to be coming right back here to my zoo where we are actually going to be setting up nest boxes for all the owls that I have here at my house. But before we actually head over to the zoo and hop into today's craziness, well I have a special message for all of you. And today's video is sponsored by Ritual. Ritual is an incredible product I've been using for the past couple of months and I am so excited that I finally get to share it with all of you. Ritual is an all-in-one men's multivitamin and their essential for men's formula contains 10 key nutrients like vitamin A, D, and omega-3 which gives us men a strong foundation for our health. Now not only does Ritual have the essential for men's formula, Ritual does not discriminate. Ritual makes a prenatal, postnatal, teen, and a women's multivitamin. Now I personally chose to start taking Ritual because between my crazy work schedule with feeding baby animals, projects here at my new zoo, it is hard to honestly eat healthy all the time and by taking Ritual, it makes up for any nutrients I am missing in my day-to-day -day diet. Ritual's tablets are non-GMO, vegan, and 100% sugar-free. All you gotta do is take these guys right here. All you need is two a day. Pop them in your mouth. Swallow and you have gotten your 10 key nutrients for the day. With Ritual, it's only $1 per day. Yes, you heard that right. Only $1 a day to have 10 high quality nutrients delivered right to your door. No gimmicks and no extra charges. If you guys are interested in Ritual, Will, you are in luck because Ritual is offering all of you, my loyal subscribers, an incredible deal right now. Ritual is offering all of you 10% off a three month supply of Ritual and all you gotta do to claim this deal is go to the link in the description, use my code Jacob Fetter, and you'll receive the gold standard in vitamins. And now that all of you got to hear about all the amazing benefits that Ritual has to offer, well guys, I'm gonna go hop in the truck and we're gonna head over to ZWF. One hour later. Guys, I'm back over here at ZWF and we are about to feed some owls. Now I have owls at my house, wild screech owls, and when we're done here, we're gonna be hanging up the nest boxes. But here we are with Hank, with Mr. Hanky. He's hissing at me. Hank is a gorgeous five-year-old Eurasian eagle owl. So the Eurasian eagle owls are one of the largest owls in the world. This guy is from Eurasia and look at those deep eyes. He is just absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at those razor sharp Ooh. talons right there. Whoo, that Ooh. is right. Look at him, he's talking to me. Hoo hoo, hoo. Talk to me, say something, hoo hoo. Ooh. Look at this beautiful guy right here. In the wild, he'll use these razor sharp talons to attack small mice rabbits, whatever he can get his hands on. And of course, we've got some food for him. We've got some mice right here. We're gonna see if this guy wants to eat right here. You wanna eat, big guy? You wanna eat? Oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. Here, have that. Eat that, you want that? You want that mouse? He's looking at it. You want that? I don't blame Hank. It is extremely hot here in Miami. This is one of the hottest days we've had since last summer. I am sweating up a storm right now. Hank is nice and warm. He does not want to eat his mouse. We're going to leave his mouse there, but we've got one other owl we're going to go check out. We're going to go check out Rogue and see if he wants a snack. Guys, I've made it into the Tiki Hut right now, and look, we have my friend Rogue right here. Now, Rogue is a gorgeous male spectacled owl. Now, the reason why they call him spectacled owls, if you see that white around his eyes, that white around his eyes looks like he's wearing glasses. Now, unlike Hank, Rogue is actually from South America. These guys can be found in South America, Trinidad, Mexico. So they are like a tropical owl, which is pretty cool. So because this guy is a tropical owl, he's used to that warmer climate. So guys, we have a really good chance that he's going to eat. Can I give you a head pet? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to bite me? So a lot of people are scared of owls. They've got those big, deep eyes, but they're really not that scary. Hi there, buddy. Hi. Oh, you don't want to be pet? Okay, I won't pet you, buddy. We've got our mice. We're going to grab one. I've got a snack for you, buddy. I've got one. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. 
This owl is going absolutely insane right now, tearing this little mouse up. You want a good old snack? During the day, Rogue stays out here in the Tiki Hut. He gets to meet some of the guests, and oh my gosh, look at him. That's a tasty mouse, isn't that, buddy? I wanna see you eat him. Can you eat him for me? Are you gonna Are you gonna be camera shy when you eat him? I don't think so, look at him. He's just feeling the mouse up. See him what's up with him is it do, do you do you approve of that i i think he's i think he's good rogue is most definitely going to be a little bit shy when it comes to eating he's probably not going to eat in front of uh the camera right now he's going to wait for me to leave then he's going to come over he's going to eat some but he is just eating that unlike hank he is very eager to get this mouse in him oh my gosh let's see if he wants another we're going to come right here we're going to get one more mouse we got to give him a second snack you want a second snack buddy all right rogue i'm going to leave this with you this is your second snack i'm going to actually put him right here that's your snack I'm I'm gonna leave my good friend Rogue alone. He's gonna sit here, he's gonna eat his mice, and now that you guys got to see some of the owls at ZWF, guys, we're about to head back to my zoo right now, my house, and we're going to be setting up some owl nest boxes for all of my owls at my house. One minute, 37 seconds later. Now, before I left, I had to make sure I came and saw my main man, Mr. Limbani, chimpanzee man. Let me get a big old kiss right now. Can I get a kiss, my, come here, can I have a kiss? Limbani is a big old four and a half year old chimpanzee man and we're just hanging out right now We got an apple. We're just hanging out on my truck. Let me get a fist bump fist bump fist bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah Good fist bumps. Yeah, can I see your teeth? Can I see your funny face? Limbani is losing some of his teeth. He's getting his adult teeth in Limbani, what, 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 you, you found some keys now chimpanzees are extremely smart now This is not supposed to be a part of today's video hanging out with mr. Limbani man I think Limbani is ready for nap time. He looks like a tired little chimp guys go comment down below if you think Limbani is ready for nap time You look a little bit tired. Where do you want to go? Limbani shoulders shoulders up on the shoulders boy. Let's go. Let's go. All right guys I'm gonna go put Limbani down for his afternoon nap And then we're gonna actually finally head home now and set up our owl boxes Guys, I'm back at my house and it is just about time for me to be hanging up the nesting boxes for all the owls I have here at my house. Now the owls that I have, they're not technically mine. They're actually wild screech owls. The screech owls live all over my property. I see them up in the trees and even at nighttime, we're in the tiki hut and if you look at this, all of this right here, all that you see here, this is screech owl poop. So the owl must have ate something and they love to poop in my tiki hut, which I don't really love, but they actually at nighttime go and they sit up on these posts at nighttime. And when I come in here, I'll see them just hanging out way up in here. And when they're hanging out here, they obviously are pooping all over the place. So there is a ton of owl poop in here. And look at this. This right here is actually part of the owl pellet. So when the owls actually eat, they actually spit up sometimes these nasty little pellets. These owl pellets are actually part of whatever the owl is eating that they don't digest. So there's actually a bone in here. The owls were here long before I had this house, long before this house was probably even built. This is their territory. So we don't want to get rid of the owls, but we want to give them a safe home, a safe haven to live. So I'm going to go ahead inside the house right now. I've got three amazing owl boxes that just got delivered and we're going to hang them up around the farm. I've got them. Here they are. We've got the owl boxes. These are them right here, guys. You see them, we're just gonna use these cardboard boxes for them. I'm only kidding. We've got our boxes here, let's open them up. So in here, I specially ordered some Eastern Screech Owl boxes. And this, these are pretty cool. And look at that, they actually use recycled materials to ship it, so we're not using plastic, nasty styrofoam, which gets out in the environment. They're literally shredding boxes, which I like. I think that's absolutely amazing. Let's lift them on out hard to do okay look at that we have three of these incredible eastern screech owl boxes so when we hang these up in the nesting season the owls are actually gonna go in here hopefully and have their babies so when you open this up right here you open it up and we're gonna lift it let's open it move it to the side we're gonna lift it on open when you lift it on open they gave you they give you a nice little letter tell you exactly what to do so we have box number one open. Let's get number two out. We're gonna get our second box out. Look at that, we have uh, more recycled material. Let's take out our second one. We've got another owl box right there. We're just gonna throw that that way. And we have our third and final one. Let's see what we're dealing with here, what we got. Okay, look at that. We have three incredible owl boxes here and guys, now that we have all three out, we're going to go now, pick a tree, and set them up. After a lot of searching, I think I have found the perfect spot for the first owl house. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right there on that branch. We're gonna put it 
right up there. And I think that's probably about 12 feet off of the ground. I think it's gonna be perfect, but guys, there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna get up there, we're gonna mount the box, and maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe even a month, or maybe even tonight, we'll have a little owl living in the house. Would you look at that, guys? The ladder is here, it's up. And now it's gonna make my life a whole lot easier by getting up there. So, we're gonna leave this hay stuff down here. We've got our box, we've got our screws. Now I'm just gonna head on up and we're gonna get this box installed. Now this is gonna be absolutely perfect. And the reason why this is going to be perfect is because the owls are gonna have an unobstructed way of flying in. I'm gonna face the box this way so the owls will be able to fly right in. There's no branches blocking them. So we're just gonna get this position. We're gonna get the screw started first inside the box. We're just gonna lift this on up just like this and I'm gonna sneak on in and let's give it a shot. We're going to start in one, two. Okay, my finger's getting stuck in there. Okay, we're in. We're positioned. We're there. Look at that, guys. Our Screech Owl box is locked and loaded. It's in place. Now that our box is in place and ready to go, it's time to add the nesting substrate in. So I'm going to try to do it by hand. We're going to see how much we can get in there. It might fall on out. We're not sure. We're just going to put a bunch in there. We've got some that way, and now that we got some there, we're just gonna close it on up, and it's got a nice little locking mechanism there. And then I'm just gonna try and put it in. Honestly, this is gonna be a little difficult, but I'm just gonna stuff this on in just like this, and we're gonna get the substrate in. And now it's still just a little bit messy, but you know, I, we get dirty every day. That's just a part of working with the animals and being around them. The shavings are in, and now, just like it, the directions required, we're gonna put some dead leaves in there. The owls will kind of use it to make a little nest. We're gonna stick our dead leaves in there and owl box number one is done. It's ready to go. Guys, look how cool it is. I cannot wait to come out here and be out here at nighttime and see owls up in my trees. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, guys, and I can't wait to keep all of you updated on when they start actually living in there. So now that we got nest box number one, up and ready to go. We're gonna take our other two and find a spot to put them. I've scouted it. This tree right here is where nest box number two is going to go. I'm thinking it's going to get put right here in the perfect position of that branch right there. We're going. Would you look at that, guys? Owl nest box number two is up in the tree. Look how amazing this is right here. We're at about 10 feet tall right now inside of a beautiful mamey tree. This is a really good fruit we have here in South Florida. And this box is absolutely amazing. Look, we're locked, we're loaded, and this box is ready for a baby owl. Guys, go right now and comment down below how long do you guys think it's gonna take for an owl to actually live inside of that box? How long do you guys think it's gonna take? Now, at nighttime, I actually play screech owl noises, and when I play those screech owl noises, all the owls in the area, they fly in and they come and they hang out, and it was really cool. The other night, I was actually laying in bed and I heard the owls calling each other because it is just about to be owl mating season. So we're hanging up the boxes in just the right amount of time, and would you look at that? Cliff just hung the ladder up in the perfect spot for the next box and the battery's dead so guys uh yeah i gotta i gotta change that i found the spot this right here is where the third and final box is going my mom has the box she's got it she's coming we're gonna do it we're almost there we're gonna put it right about uh right here that's where it's gonna go in we're locked it's secure look at this the box is up it looks amazing and hopefully soon we'll have some owls so now that the third box is done our work is done it's time to go in and relax and that my friends is going to end today's episode I hope all of you did enjoy watching today's video where we actually got to hang out and feed some owls over at ZWF as well as hang some nesting boxes for the wild owls right here at my zoo guys if you enjoyed today's video and you are not subscribed yet and you want to see owls inhabit those nest boxes you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises well what are you waiting for guys go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post